Hello and welcome to study with Sudhir your digital classroom. I am TS Sudhir and today we are going to be giving you tips on how to approach the chemistry examination as part of the ICSC class 10 board exam. With me is Tejasuni Umar Sudhir who cleared the ICSC board exam of class 10 last year that is in 2019 and she will tell you exactly how to approach the paper and also how to prepare for the chemistry syllabus. So Tejasuni will divide it into three parts. Let's first talk about books ko padna chahiye? That is very important. Which books? Now we are recording this on the 31st of December. So we still have a solid two months, almost two months to go. So what books the students should uh, study in order to prepare well for chemistry? See, I followed the book called Viraf Dalal. I think it's the best as far as ICC class 10 chemistry is concerned. Uh, many schools I'm sure must be following concise. That's a good book. But before going to a board exam, be sure to do Viraf Dalal completely because that will make you absolutely perfect to face any question in chemistry because koi bhi question Viraf Dalal ke syllabus ke bahar to kabhi nahi aayega. So what Tejaswini is saying is that even in schools which follow concise as the main textbook, make sure that you do refer to Viraf Dalal and of course if Viraf Dalal is there as your main textbook, you don't even probably need concise. So yes. that is as far as the book portion is concerned. Now let's come to <coughs> how to prepare for the chemistry syllabus. Chemistry, uh, from what I can remember, it requires both a bit of mugging up, also it needs a bit of logic, though it's not in the same league as say physics is. So give us tips, give tips to our students as to how they should approach the entire chemistry syllabus, which is quite vast. See, pehli baat to aap koi bhi chapter ko chhod nahi sakte hain kyunki as, as you know section A mein it comes as a mix of every chapter. So you can't leave any chapter. Uh, a bit like history civics ka syllabus where you cannot leave out any chapter or biology. Unlike in geography where you have the option of leaving out something, chemistry mein you cannot afford to leave out any chapter. So chemistry involves both a bit of mugging up as well as logic. For instance, when you're writing equations, be sure to balance those equations. Because you have written the equation, you have done everything, dilute, lik diya. dilute, concentrated, suppose uh, if you take suppose sulfuric acid, Dil dilute, hai, concentrated, hai, cold, hai, hot, hai. Wo likhna mat because that carries marks. Also, balancing most important. I know during the examination there can be questions uh, where you are trying to balance and you are not able to balance it. Don't waste time on that. But balancing is uh, the equation is very important. When you say don't waste on your time on that, you mean to say that you can come back to it if you are not able to do it at that initial Exactly. Initiative. exactly. When, okay. uh, if you are not able to do don't it. Don't get stuck on that one question. Yes. Right. Okay. Then uh, you are talking about the mole concepts. How to kind of approach that. Okay. Mole concept in stoichiometry is a very important chapter. Calculation is in that. Units likhna mat bhuliyega kyunki units carries marks. Also, uh, uh, be sure, uh, try to do everything in SI units and don't uh, mix up the units. Matlab, ek liters mein diya hua hai, par aaj se centimeter cube mein hai. You have to be taking care of the units so that they are compatible. Also, uh, for instance, Avogadro's number. Don't try, uh, try to take a shortcut by writing 6 into 10 power 23. Write 6.023 into 10 power 23 unless mentioned in the question if it says ki you take 6 into 10 power 23 they will mention otherwise you have to take uh, 6.023 because answer does vary and you will lose your mark okay uh, ye to ho gaya, uh, about the mole concept let's now come to the uh, let's divide it let's first go to the inorganic chapters inorganic chemistry chapters okay so inorganic chemistry chapters your study of organic compounds, you have four, you have hydrochloric acid, you have ammonia, you have nitric acid and you have sulfuric acid. Pretty easy, easy to score, easy to tackle. One, properties of each of those compounds, it is, uh, that involves mugging up. In fact, you must, uh, a general uh, chemistry knowledge will help you uh, tackle questions there. Um, then comes the preparation part, preparations of different compounds. Uh, yes, that involves memory as well as logic. See, for instance, uh, preparations of sulfuric acid, whether it's contact process or, uh, you know, you must be knowing about the different processes involved in each of the following, uh, each of the compounds. 
रिमेम्बर ईच प्रोसेस रिमेम इक्वेशन याद रखना बहुत जरूरी है अगर वो बोले कि कॉन्टैक्ट प्रोसेस के बारे में लिखो सेक्शन बी में ऐसे लॉन्ग आंसर आ सकता है कि कॉन्टैक्ट प्रोसेस के बारे में सब कुछ लिखो ये नहीं कि बस आप थियोरी पार्ट लिखो आपको इक्वेशन के साथ उसको उसको सप्लीमेंट करना होगा क्योंकि इक्वेशन इज वॉट केमिस्ट्री इज ऑल अबाउट राइट इट्स अबाउट इक्वेशन इज अबाउट कपाउस रिएक्टेड अदर प्रोडक्ट एंड हाउ डज इट शुड अप्रोच बी एनी डिफरेंट एज फार एस ऑर्गेनिक chemistry is concerned organic chemistry is a huge chunk and very important because organic chemistry ye hai ki class 10 ka organic chemistry is the basis on which you suppose aapne 11th or 12th mein organic uh, uh, mpc liya hai to organic chemistry ka bahut इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल है और आप अगर आप क्लास टेन में ही इसको बहुत अच्छे से करोगे तो आ, आ, आपको बहुत आसानी होगी क्लास इलेवन में और ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री का आपके क्वेश्चन आई सी सी क्लास टेन क्वेश्चन पेपर में भी इट कैरीज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मार्क्स सेक्शन ए में भी आता है सेक्शन बी में एक कंप्लीट टेन मार्क क्वेश्चन बस ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री पे आता है अभी ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री में यू मे फील क्वाइट डॉन्टेड बाई द नंबर ऑफ इक्वेशन एंड the the, the lot, lot lot involved in it right but it's important that each equation ko aap bahut baar likhe aur practice kare kyunki orally aap bolte jaye usse koi farak nahi padta aapne likha hai you mean to say that it will be better if they write it and practice instead of just trying to do it yeah because orally, uh, orally if you do it uh, you see every equation aapko बैलेंसिंग भी याद नहीं होगा कंफ्यूजन हो जाएगा बोर्ड एग्जाम में वेर एज इफ यू राइट दी बेसिक इक्वेशन है देन ट्राई टू बैलेंसिंग बिकॉज ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री में क्या है सिंपल बैलेंसिंग ही होता है ओके यू स्पोक अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन तेजस्विनी वॉट डिड यू मीन बाई दैट ओके सो केमिस्ट्री में ऑब्जर्वेशन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन ए में तो एक कंप्लीट क्वेश्चन गिव रीजन में ऑब्जर्वेशन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ऑल्सो इन गिव गिव द डिफरेंस बिटवीन से हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड एंड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सो इट्स वेरी इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट सी ऑब्जर्वेशन पे वॉट इट मीन्स इज दैट वॉट यू सी वॉट यू हियर एंड वॉट यू स्मेल what you see i mean precipitates precipitates very important uh, the color of the precipitate whether it is uh, you know chalky white color or uh, 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 copper hydroxide what uh, color precipitate does it give If all that is very important uh, pops out of the high of hydrogen important flame test it comes as part of your practical examination as well as it can come as a part of your question paper as well flame test agar aapne calcium ko burn kiya to aapko kya color aayega brick red aayega waise sare cheeze bahut important hai ki aap jaane you mentioned the practical test they just need fact they should most likely be having the practical exam also in the first week of january itself any tips that you would want to give them so that they don't miss out lose out on any marks in the practical examination see practicals are important because it's like a complete boost right you are writing an 80 mark paper in your you are writing an 80 mark paper but 20 marks comes from the from internal and external examiners from school right so then uh, while your lab manual all the diagram should be complete and uh, everything you should uh, be knowing each and every experiment in your lab manual because in most schools uh, they test you based on the lab manual you have a viva as well as you have a practical yeah okay so why were they ask you basic chemistry concepts which mostly involve observations and uh, in, in your practicals what you actually do in your lab it's mainly based on precipitates and flame test so they say uh, they give you certain compounds and then they ask you to mix find what the product is tell uh, write in the paper what is what's the color of the precipitate what exactly you observe hmm. that's what they test you in the practical uh, test so basically what this means is that your board exams are in a sense actually starting in january itself so take it with all the seriousness don't say that hum the teacher has promised ki mil jayenge 20 mark no from your side ensure that you put your best foot forward aapko sare concepts should be very very clear let's now come to the periodic tables uh, tejaswini because that's again an important <coughs> aspect of the entire syllabus yeah the first chapter in your syllabus is periodic table first chapter book uh, it is the most important chapter in the entire syllabus because every other chapter is actually related to related it. to the periodic table based on the periodic table so ye sabse zyada it's periodic table contains the elements and it's around these elements we play in the subject of chemistry so right. uh, 
पीरियोडिक टेबल में आपको यू हैव टू नो द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी एलिमेंट्स फॉर श्योर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू हैव टू नो वन ए ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स टू ए ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स हेलोजेंस इन और गैसेस because they are you know the main uh, elements i think it's important you know all the one a group elements halogens uh, because uh, whether you talk about the, because uh, there's a question which comes in section a based on the orders like order of electronegativity if you have to answer that question you need to know the periodic table you need to know ki theek hai electronegativity it increases across the period uske liye sab the periodic table jana bahut zaruri hai ki ye particular calcium kaun se period mein hai kaun se group mein hai jana bahut zaruri hai also see when you joining two different compounds valencies are important of each of those compound agar aapko valency yaad nahi rakh pa rahe aap suppose aapko pata nahi hai ki calcium ka valency kya hai अभी इफ यू नो द पीरियोडिक टेबल यू विल बी एबल टू फिगर आउट कैल्शियम का अटोमिक नंबर है ट्वेंटी सो यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट टू एट एट टू सो टू है तो कैल्शियम का वैलेंसी होगा प्लस टू वैसे ही एल्यूमिनियम टू एट थ्री मतलब एल्यूमिनियम का वैलेंसी होगा प्लस थ्री सो अगर आपको एलिमेंट्स की वैलेंसी याद नहीं रख पा रहे आप तो ऐसे लॉजिकली सोच के भी आप कर सकते हो As so far as equations are concerned, I have seen that most people को बहुत difficulty होती है कि आपको equation में मतलब reactants पता है पर products क्या आने वाला you don't you don't know you struggle with that it's actually very logical see suppose you take the simplest of examples uh, acid plus base gives you salt plus water HCl plus NaOH gives you NaCl plus H2O टू ओ अभी आपको कैसे पता है कि एन ए सी एल ही आने वाला है एच सी एल एच प्लस एंड सी एल माइनस एन ए ओ एच एन ए प्लस एंड ओ एच माइनस तो इसका कैटेन एंड एन एन कम्बाइन होगा दूसरे का कैटेन एन एन कम्बाइन होगा तो बहुत लॉजिकल हो गया दिस इज जैसे सिंपल एग्जाम्पल पर हर इक्वेशन केमिस्ट्री में बहुत लॉजिकल होता है सब बैलेंस होता है लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मास राइट ऑल द प्रोडक्ट ऑल द प्रोडक्ट द टोटल मास ऑफ द रिएक्ट यूज इज इक्वल टू द टोटल मास ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट यूज तो सबको जो भी आप ऐड करो कि वापस आएगा पर दूसरे फॉर्म में आएगा उतना ही है सो इट्स नॉट लाइक इक्वेशन इज गोइंग बी वेरी टफ रिमेम्बरिंग बिकॉज इट्स वेरी लॉजिकल राइट ओके सो नाउ लेट्स कम टू हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू अपियर फॉर द पेपर एंड वॉट यूर अप्रोच शुड बी ऑन द डे ऑफ the examination itself now you have two sections section a and section b both of them are of 40 marks each and the manner in which you should divide the time because time is important you have only 2 hours you should devote about 45 minutes to section a and say about 1 hour 5 to 10 minutes for section b leaving aside at least 5 to 10 minutes <coughs> to revise that's something which you need to keep in mind because by chance if there is something which you have not been able to tackle in the initial time itself you need to keep an extra buffer of 10 minutes in order to us sam us samay par aap ye pichla koi question chhoot gaya ho nahi complete kiya ho ya sab sab answers ko revise karne ke liye aapko buffer of 10 minutes zaruri hoga to you ensure that you divide your 2 uh, hours into uh, these kind of divisions also another tip that tejaswini gave is to do it in order especially section a what why is it, it, that so important see section a is basically objective matlab fill in the blanks and uh, you know very uh, pointed answers you either know it or you don't know it Uh, so that's why i was telling you it's very important to have all these uh, you know in your on your fingertips because section a is basically like you can do it very fast you can score high marks also i would in fact suggest that how fast you can do section a do it also uh, 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 the give uh, give reasons write proper four to five lines of give reason uh, at least uh, suppose uh, at least two give reason uh, two reasons for the statement they give is important because that's how you get marks uh, so do section a as fast as possible section b of course is a bit of a longer format so leave enough time for that and also time for revision so you said that section a may if it is from a to h however number of questions you should do it in the same order yes. you should not jumble up the order that you answer the sixth question yeah, first then you go to the second question then fourth question aisa mat kijiye because usme ho sakta hai ki the examiner may get irritated that he or she has to go back and forth kyunki wo key dekh ke correction karte hain aur unko back and forth jana padta hai aur is is process pe ho sakta hai ki aapka koi answer answer chhoot jaye fir aapko uske liye marks nahi milenge so go in order as far as section a is concerned <laughs> 
that's a tip that tejaswini gives so that don't uh, try to uh, be adventurous with that if you don't know anything leave some space for it and go on to the next one and you can always come back to it a little later uh, during the examination time yes. so that's as far as teju ki patshala goes for the icsc class 10 chemistry exam all the best to you if you have any doubt still after the even after this very elaborate explanation about what to do and what not to do please write in the comment section i or tejaswini will reply to that uh, but definitely uh, all the best we'll also continue to do i'll request her to take out time to do for biology for physics and for computer applications as well okay thank you very much for watching